So something I get asked often is how I set up my hot bars uh, on controller. So we're going to quickly go over the logic I use to set up hot bars that work with every single job in the game. It's a misconception that controller is any better or worse than mouse and keyboard. They both have advantages or disadvantages, uh, but it mostly comes down to personal preference. Okay, this may seem complicated, but stick with me, all right? So first off, we need to turn on W cross hot bar. This gives you way more buttons to use. Uh, so check uh, that, which is under character config, cross. You can scroll down and click always display W cross hot bar. And I prefer to position it separately from regular cross hop bar. So on the HUD, when you go to the HUD menu, you can move these two around separately. So next you're gonna to wanna to come into custom and enable both types uh, of extra hot bar. So you've got the expanded hold controls, which makes it so if you hold like L2 then R2, it pulls up a cross hop bar. You hold R2 and then L2, it pulls up another one. And uh, then you wanna enable the W cross hop bar, uh, which means you double tap and that gets you to these ones, which we just put up. And clicking on the uh, the last setting. You also want to make sure that these are parity with each other. So like, for example, on the expanded hold controls, we're using cross hop bar three left, cross hop bar three right. And then on the W cross hop bar, we've got cross hop bar two left, cross hop bar two right. I prefer only doing action buttons here on the W cross hop bar. The directional in action, it just adds way too many extra buttons for me. That's entirely my personal preference, so mess with it as you want set these all up on your hud as you want i as you can see this is my hud uh, you'll notice with my hud i have this regular hot bar one down here at the bottom uh, that's very important so make sure you have that enabled so you can see it you want to enable one of these at least one hot bar okay now when it comes to placing buttons on my bar there's one very important thing that i care about you need to be able to do the two most important things in the game you need to be able to move which is the most important thing to do in the game. And the second thing is you need to be able to do your your buttons. You need to be able to hit dudes. So since I'm moving my left thumb stick, naturally my left thumb is taken up. And I'll be needing to use my right hand for the most commonly used actions in the game. So this is where I'll put like my combos, my OGCDs, my gap closers, all that. Uh, it's all on face buttons. The things that my, my right hand is pressing. You see? Like up here, that's why I only use... Half of them, I don't use the, you know, the extra on the W cross hop bar. All of this, all these buttons I can press with, with the face buttons of the controller while I'm moving around with the left thumb stick. What you can do, since we have the double tap things, like I said, you can do that. The holds, right trigger, left trigger, you can, you can do that. And then these buttons are also on face buttons. Same thing if you do left trigger, right trigger, those buttons are on face buttons. This is usually where I put my AOE. Uh, to set them, remember from before we had it, so hop bar set two are, are these ones, hop bar set three are these ones. Play around with it, figure out what you're comfortable with. The only weird thing I have on my hop bar setup is I do have an, another bar that has only emotes, has a mount, and has sprint on it. If you don't think you can get used to doing that really fast, like scrolling to sprint, I would recommend you actually put sprint on, you know, somewhere on one of these uh, that makes it easy for you to access. A lot of this is gonna come down to personal preference, but that's the logic I use to set up my hotbar. So remember when we enabled this hotbar right here, I use this to track abilities that have cooldowns. And also if I am new, like I just set up a bar, I'll put the abilities sort of in the general area. So like I would put these AOE abilities over here on this side. So I remember that if I do, you know, left trigger, right trigger, or you know, L2, R2, that would in turn pull up that side. For example, let me switch to Dragoon. And I've got like these buttons, like high jump, very important to use at all times. You always wanna make sure high jumps on cooldown. So I've got that hidden back here. Luckily, with the power of the expanded and cross hop bars, I can track the timer without having to manually check. You can also put other things like here, I've got my pot cooldown on here just to track my pots. I mean, that's about it. Uh, I'll leave links to images of all of my hot bars in the description. Uh, they're all, they'll all be up to date as of patch 6.4. So if you need inspiration, you can check those out. Like I said, it's, it's super preference. That's just, you need, in my opinion, you need that line of logic. You need to be able to press your buttons while moving. That's the most important thing. Once you have that down, everything else will fall into place. Yeah, it seems kind of confusing, but don't give up. You, know, you can you can rewind slow down the videos you need if you have any questions leave them 
down below. I'll answer them per like I'll answer them as soon as I possibly can. And if you need to see footage of my bars in action, uh, I'll link a video here to me doing I don't know ultimate. Hopefully that cleared it up. It might have made it worse. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, gamers.